<laughs> what trends do you see occurring in the industry? The, the biggest trend that I'm seeing um, from, from the trade show um, uh, guys is moving to subscription models mm. um, for uh, across, across both um, exhibits, a sponsor and, and attendee. Um, and, and I'll tell you why it's, it changes the business model and it makes, it also makes it much more resilient to anything like what the pandemic could, could uh, another pandemic or something like, uh, you know, world altering kind of thing coming in and, and stopping us. It, it was very apparent that events worked on life cycles of, of 12 months or so. And, you know, you were, you were restarting back at the beginning and, and in some cases had very transient kind of customers, you mm. know, um, Whereas the subscription model makes you a lot more resilient to it, it, it expand. You're obviously expanding out your value proposition. You're providing other things to that community and that that industry. Maybe that's lead generation more consistently through the year, brand exposure, content opportunities, that kind of stuff. And, and in somewhat might might actually make it more um, manageable um, for companies to get involved because costs and things like that could be spread over. a months rather than one big chunk for for individual events it also makes a huge difference to the amount of money that that company is worth um in terms of value um yeah. a, a company on a on an event might be lucky if they get 10 12 times um you know uh, the the value of their uh, uh profit margin whereas a subscription business can be 10 times revenue um, so it can be a big, a big change. And I, and I think that's something that we'll see kind of filter right across um, uh, events businesses. Um, I, I'm honestly not sure whether professionally there will be many event businesses that are purely pure, pure, pure play events, because I think that leaves the door open too much from other co people coming in and offering all of the other stuff, podcasts, mm -hmm. news, you know, subscriptions, content reports, all of that kind of stuff, and then adding events as a layer in on top. Um, so that that's probably the biggest trend that I'm seeing people thinking about, like how can we maintain a level of income from all of our participants all year round, and what can we offer them as value for that? 